from Schwan Triss, that early extra lane aggression, aggression coming out. This is going to be a, a tough one, it feels like, on paper for Vici Gaming Reborn. We'll see if they can kind of avoid the early pressure from Newbie and walk away this series with at least a 1 1 splitter of Newbie's high pressure, high intense drow lineup is going to be able to crush down Vici Gaming Reborn so they can walk away with two points. We've got predictions here, Waga. Total number of smoke and kills at game's end. <sighs> Wow. Well, they smoke up immediately, so... That's easy. I, I, I would say... By game's end. Fa 5 to 8, I think. I'm going to go 9 to 12. I'm thinking this is going to wow. be Wow. I don't think this is going to be that long of a game. Oh, Good luck, man. Player with the most kills at 10 <laughs> minutes. I might not be able to finish these predictions. Oh, both teams actually smoke into each other here. Uh, but no one can reach each other. Yeah, DDC like, can't we got quite you. get close enough for the lift, unfortunately. Well, th that's two smoke usages gone. <laughs> Rip your predictions. I'm lowering mine, man. Zero to four. <laughs> okay. No, no. Gets hit with that level one Thunderstrike you were talking of. And Wisp is like, sorry, buddy. I got to go. Jumps, ditches his Ember, and makes it away. And first blood is going to be going to newbie. Yeah, that was a, a good kill to get as well. Disruptor. Some extra gold for him early as he already uh, spent all his money. Wards and team. everything. I mean, that is just your your life is a five. Yeah. I'll, they'll take the first blood bonus. You're welcome. Yeah. And uh, we'll be able to get like boots, extra consumables. Yeah, helps him out a lot. So a good head start here for newbie as we get underway. A little rune trades. No one really contesting after that first bud. Yeah. And uh, body block help on the mid lane by Chuan, making sure that Mu gets a nice block here. But same thing, of course, FY on the dire side. And yeah, nothing too surprising, it looks like, here from the laning stage. How will reside at the bottom. In the meantime, Kaka could join by his side if necessary, but it doesn't seem like it will be necessary. Mikasa, early Iron Talon, straight to the jungle for him, Waga. He's <laughs> he knows what's up. Contest. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I just, I'm going to PvE this one. I don't think you want to offlane as an axe against Disruptor Drow. You yeah. can't do anything. So Iron Talon, definitely the best choice here. I have no disagreements with this. And if he wants, you know... Kaka could roam around a bit, but, you know, Disruptor is not the biggest ganker to, you know, it'll just work with some pulls, make sure uh, the lane equilibrium doesn't go too far forward. Drow has pretty much a free lane under her oh, own no. tower to work with. FY, uh, he tries to find a ward that's going to block him, but in fact, it's not a ward. It's just a little ball. FY, or Tron, sorry, tried to find a ward. Oh, and FY was right there. FY he was, just ran he in. was the ward. He just yep. went in and blocked it with his own little wisp body. Yeah, he ran in at first, and... Enchantress hit him a few times, and he was like, okay. So Enchantress like commits all these sentries. Yeah, but nothing was there ever, apart from the Wisp, of course. Chuan's like, you know what, enough. I'm just going to go in your freaking jungle and find the centaur and yep. goes I'm work from there. I'm sure Chuan will find creeps in the end. He's a very experienced Enchantress player. And, uh, in fact, they blocked off their own jungle with that sentry ward as well, uh, observer ward as well. So really nice heads-up play by Vici Gaming, preparing for this Enchantress rotation. Very nice. We'll hold out. Dyer's KP will just have to make do and just try to pressure the casual pull in the meantime. Looks like Mikasa. Uh, look at self uh, self deny to get himself back to the fountain here as he does have no gold on hand. While uh, Drow is getting some nice early shots on this tower. In fact, they're even going to pull the wave all the way out and around. Yeah, he's getting a get ton it. of damage on that. This, yeah, this could be a very fast tier one. That's what happens when you don't go off lane at all. If you just go Iron Talon jungle, then Dra will say, okay, I'm going to push using that aura as well mm -hmm. to get extra damage. And uh, yeah, 550 HP on that tower already. Wow. Mikasa's here now, so he'll try to just kind of be a little bit of a presence so they don't feel too casual about moving the lane forward. And uh, we'll obviously keep the Disruptor around a bit. Back at mid lane in your... Moo Quap versus No No Ember Spirit matchup. Oh boy. We have a gank coming in. It's the Enchantress is here, and he is going to get a kill. Nice early gank lead in. Yeah, that's the dream creeps to have when you gank as well. Having the Ensnare and the Stomp. Just the I2 champion right there. Best combo you could have. Top lane, KP taking some damage, but should be fine. Pops us out, and we'll be fine. Uh, just getting away, and uh, Tron has also been spotted by this ward, running behind the enemy line, of course. Are they going to prepare for it? Yeah, obviously, they will back out in a way. And Chuan says, they may know I'm coming. So yeah. decides to back out and will take his business elsewhere. We pop at bottom lane where we 
Last witness Drow poking at this tower. Still has the most CS in the game at 19 and 1. She's probably going to push it back immediately. After this creep wave, she's just going to shove it down back to the tower, force the Axe to react. Mm -hmm. So far, Axe doesn't even have boots, so they're on the courier coming out, but that's what we want to do. Just stress the Axe so we can't just peacefully jungle. Because Vici Gaming Reborn can't really afford to get too high octane, if you will, early on in this game. They have a slow rising Ember Spirit to work with, uh, Axe who needs to kind of get his tools together. Yeah, they need a bit. Ember Spirit definitely takes a long time before he gets online. He needs to travel and the Battle Fury really before he does that much. Yeah. Just anticipate and prepare for when newbies strike because you know this team is going to be going on the offensive much more often and much sooner than you're going to be ready for. But if you can avoid, you can duck, you can dodge, maybe yeah. you can kind of find your own way. But KP has made a full move in, forces oh, out the DDC so slow, telekinesis, DDC. but eventually KP just kind of catches on up. But a uh, nice interception from Mikasa. Stops Chuan from following through. ZYF cuts her off, gets off a few searing arrows, but it's not going to be enough to get the finish. Yeah, they're just going to run away. And uh, this troll, probably going to get denied as well as the timer. One second, yeah. Not going to be able to kill that either. A lot of heroes reacting to Enchantress. Yeah, and because of that, there's space elsewhere. Meanwhile, mid lane, there is a little bit of a tussle where Nona will force the Queen of Pain back, but that's even more pressure away from this bottom lane, Waga. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know it, that tier one ends up going down. Yeah, that's one tower. Already down. Just the beginning for newbie, if they oh, have yeah. anything to say. Yeah, I got my prediction on the 6 to 10. <sighs> no, no. Shadow Taking a lot of damage okay, there, but he has, he has a friend. He's going to survive just barely, though. Yeah, that he, was close oh, one. actually, wait, he's dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he didn't deny him. Well, he didn't realize they was dead. Maybe just thought that the one more tick was it. Uh, the, the, the math. The math. The math. You got to be quick on the math. He did not uh, have I, any I math. thought he would live at first, too, but then I realized there were two ticks remaining. And, uh, yeah, even just a level one Shadow Strike wasn't up there. <laughs> KP was just like, I'm just hitting creeps. And then the second he tried to sprint in and blitz at the Kalinx, he just backed on up. And it's a good thing, too. Chuan was waiting around the corner for a chance to strike if he was able to catch off a good crush. But oh, I like End making use of the uh, lock boots feature, locking your item so you don't pair it up. it up accidentally. Yeah. I've seen that happen not long ago. Yeah. Can't remember. It was a Kalinx, too. He actually ended up building the Tranquils. It was an awkward situation. Oh, here we go. This time, KP will find a target. Gets the crush for FY. FY tries to jump back and away here. He'll be fine. Man, it looks like he'll be fine. So close, though. Could yeah. maybe have committed the ulti, but you really don't want an ulti for uh, support. Yeah. As a queen, you should really make use of your ulti only to kill the course in the early game. Or if you can get you know, a kill on a support in a big clash, yes, that's fine. But definitely not for a gank like that. Yeah. So Mu will just take his business back to the mid lane, but his opposer... Not there at the moment. No, no nearby. Farming up the jungle. And uh, we'll at least acquire his boots and stuff. It seems to be the approach of Vichy Gaming here. Sitting a lot more defensively compared oh, yeah. to newbie who are the aggressors. And uh, that gives newbie so much momentum. This draw is going to be really farmed. And I wonder what they're going to do. If they're immediately going to switch her... Um, to push the other tier one towers. KP so suddenly just comes out unleashed. They have a dust. They had been waiting for that moment, and they strike, and they succeed. Oh, TP cancel as well. So they know there's one guy who cannot TP there. And they uh, continue their assault in the bottom lane, too. Yeah. Now, How and Kaka go to work on this tier two. Oh, wow. The rest of their team going to Can work on the tier one. Here? You know, VG Gaming, they might not get either. Mikasa is casually strolling in from behind here in the bottom lane. They try to go for a sandwich play with some TPs in the middle. They move in. They get the right. call. Kaka gets the glimpse off, but he can't offer a whole lot more to be able to save this drow. I'm actually not even sure that's worth it for Vici Gaming because look at that tower. Tier 2 tower is 44 HP. So much pushing being done already by Nubian. Yep. Map control is everything when you play Clinks. You want to be in the face of the enemy. You want to be in their jungle, taking them down when they're, you know, farming around. Not like this, man. And that's newbie able to kind of even continue some pressure here at the top. They saw all those TPs committed to the bottom. They know that any rotation power from VG Gaming Reborn is yeah. going to be a bit limited. Look at KP. He's just farming with the enemy creeps. So they're just going to, yeah, casually farm wherever they please without too much trouble. Meanwhile, mid lane, Nono gets up with a Thunderstrike. A glimpse could be there, but it needs four more seconds. He's trying to walk him back with enough time. Gets it now. Can he get it? Ah, oh, just as the Thunderstrike does conclude, the glimpse comes off cooldown. The timings didn't align. Otherwise, things could have got very scary there for the Ember. Oh, definitely. Whoa. 
Dish Ember actually wasn't level 6. Yeah, but Ember actually didn't have mana for ulti either. Oh, He was yeah. uh, 110 mana, so it would have been a kill probably if he got it. Uh, that's why he tried so hard getting under a tower to do it even. I'm actually surprised Disruptor isn't level 6 yet, only because he had that lane bottom with the pulls and everything to continue farming up, but yeah. it's actually not that late in the game. It's still only 8 minutes and 30 seconds in. The tomes haven't even come out yet. So. It's just that so many towers have been taken down. Makes yeah. the game feel like it's much longer in, yeah. That's true. That's the drow effect, I guess. Yep. They're gonna keep moving together here. They have the queen going for the veil on uh, Mu. It's a very strong item against physical damage. Gonna help him survive against the clinks. Mikasa's also making some decent time for his oh, blink. They don't want to lose this tower. Vichy, they're gonna make a stand. Can they though? I don't know. Vichy move in. They get a quick snipe, taking out Disruptor in the back lines. Can ZYF walk away from it? He can't. He can't. Oh, he walks boy. away and just happens to hustle out and out from the Mikasa. crush. TPs out and taunts them a little bit as well. Ooh. That was so lucky, though. He hits him three times uphill and doesn't miss a single time. All right, dude. <laughs> I see you. He gets that one done. A quick snipe doesn't seem to deter Newbie too much. He's actually already back and TPing to the mid lane Waga, and will be able to help assist. And that is going to be a tier one takedown for Newbie. So quick solid grab for them. And they yeah, make all tier tier ones go down. This really opens up Roshan as well, and they have such a great lineup to take it. They just want to get rid of this bottom tier two, which is 44 HP, and then you don't really even need to get rid of the tier two mid before you take Roshan. So the pace of this game is so quick, and while they do play a great clinks over on the side of each gaming, they really are just left in the dust here. That's what I feel like. Yeah, unless they find a way to really ramp things up, which I don't know what that is. No, no has feels like a whole other game ahead of him before he can really be a serious relevant factor in this. I mean, is it? Oh, wait. what do you consider? I mean, do you He's still go for mid, boots of travel on the for this? disruptor? Oh. Diving, but nope. Wow. He's really looking for anything. Sorry. Continue. No, it's fine. Kaka's going to be fine. He walks back in a way. It oh, was yeah. pretty close, but uh, just w what the Ember decides to build up because it is kind of a slower pace for your Ember. I, I don't know if you go <clears> into the boots of travel to try to accelerate your global presence and farm a bit or if you take it elsewhere. I think you have to go travels, but I really like the travels into Blink Dagger builds. I, lo I know a lot of people go for the travels into Battle Fury, and you kind of have to have a good farming tool, you feel. But in this game, it's not about farming. It's about how you take the fights and how you stop this Drow from doing what they're currently doing, just taking the entire map. And uh, there's so much vision in the enemy jungle here. Newbie, they know everything. They can do whatever they want right now. Full information. And they're going to say, Roshan, that's our choice. Probably moving towards it. Uh, Might not even go for it. Taking Al the tower. says that tower is still there. Yeah. And it still but has pretty much no life. He can plunk it down with one hit. So. He's going for it. Actually, Bing, okay, whatever. Bong, bong, this goddamn backdoor protection. There it goes. <laughs> and Mu takes it. That's perfect. It's like, are you serious, bro? I did all of the work on that tower. You just, okay. That's six towers going down in the first 11 minutes, by the way. That's what you want when you got to drown your team, I imagine, there. Definitely. <laughs> Five towers going your way as well. Not Michi bad. Gaming, moving with the smoke here. They have that Mikasa Blink Dagger, and they're hoping to put it to some strong use here in the bottom lane. Though it could be a full team five on five oh, flash. They've seen, they've oh, seen they him. smoke themselves. They'll see the courier come back. KP no. moves in. A swing and a miss on the crush. VG Gaming are like, oh, they know we're here. Let's yeah, not do this. Now they got the amplify damage as well, so they really have to just TP out, run away. They're like, we don't want to do this. We don't want to do this anymore. We got to go. And Newbie are trying to make them pay. They're trying to catch him on the way out, and they've already made their move. They spotted out ZYF, and they get him down. Radiance Beautiful there. Newbie right plays so tight. I really love the way they move across the map like the way they react when they feel the enemy are missing yeah just good play they did have deep wards so it was pretty obvious what they were doing but even so they put themselves in such a winning position yeah beachy gaming once they saw that movement so hesitant tried to withdraw not going to be happening here newbie get their advantage and continue to have it accelerate here they're going to be able to claim the roche the aegis they're going to begin to move up in the head closer to the like 7500 net worth advantage already oh no the stack they're going to try and steal the uh, enemy stack as well on the ancients draw is like thank you i'll just stand here and farm for the oh, next uh, 50 yummy. seconds or so yummy 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 it'll take a lot of time though but how oh, says he'll get it i have eventually. some time but zyf is nearby he's got time to kill He's going for a satyr and will be spotted out by the troll. 
So yeah. they get what they can fast, but this is going to be a bit of a heartbreak here for uh, Mikasa, who yeah. wanted to steal this, yeah, or have this. That was his. Not, Not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I kind of get upset by the inefficiency of killing the big black dragon last, as it gives three armor to every <laughs> other creep. But, you know, no hard feelings, guys. Like what if you commit onto the dragon first, it. and then they end up showing up when it's like, oh, I could have got two small creeps. Oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. I mean, the extra armor does make the rest of the stack a bit more difficult, but they'll get the whole stack regardless. Walk away. Slowly, though. Slowly. It, was, guy. it was slowly, but... They had time. <laughs> had plenty of time, That's and now close. Newbie continue feeling courageous here. Mid lane, feeling confident. Getting their move. Imagine a, themselves. a chest of treats are coming their way on this courier right now. As it looks like Drow Ranger's helm is going to be totally complete. And even a nice little shadow amulet to boot. Yeah, going to get really strong with that. And in fact, did not go for the entire veil on the on the Queen of Pain. He bought the second Old Testament, but he's already gotten rid of it again. Uh, going right for the, for the Orchid. Yeah. He has it. I mean, there's nothing that this Ember is going to be able to do to stop the silence at this point. Yeah. He still has to pick it up, though. So maybe they will play defensively. And uh, wow, true shot or he precision, stole precision aura. aura. That is a bonus of 10 damage for all the ranged units of Dire. Sadly, it doesn't work based off Drow's Agi. It works based off Rubik's. Hmm. Wah, wah. Yeah. It's okay, but it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I believe you yeah. wanted to silence Clanks. a little bit more. Plus 20 damage. Enjoy it there. Oh, now he can steal the silence. He wants to. He wants to go for it. A little on, bit scared. Mm, they're pinging it out here. Newbie still hanging around the welcome mat of the Vici Gaming base here. Looking to close this series out with two points. And they're getting closer to it. A quick D-War to move in. There's the crush from KP. They lead it up. Static Storm. Kinetic Pops. Field. So much hate for the X. The FY moves in, but doesn't look to bail him out. And he will lose his own life. A buyback quickly. Used for Mikasa. And Newbie might reevaluate their position. They step back. Wait a moment. Oh, but they're going to be able to get the catch from Boo. They catch him. They pull him in. KP with his own commitment. Could have getting dunked, but no. Has enough life. Will live on. And here comes the Machine Gun House. Steps in and quickly shoots down Mikasa. That's his buyback. He no is one. out. Ember's also going to be out without a buyback. And newbie could look to just take the whole mid lane. Not a single player managed to get close to a Drow Ranger in these fights. He just stands there, deals so much damage. Beautiful call onto a Queen of Pain after a respawn, but at what cost, call a guy? Looks like a cost of a tier three, but nothing further after that. And with a couple of casualties going down, including your Ember Spirit. Not looking so good in the grand scheme of things here for BG Gaming Reborn. So oh, newbie will walk hurts. away and Look at the extra gifts that are, and goodies that are going to be coming their way. Shadow Blade now totally complete for your Drow Ranger. And a four staff soon to be done for KP. Yeah, everyone, Rich get richer. Everyone really getting so much. Even Queen of Pain who died there, you know, she's starting to build into whatever's going to be the next item. Probably Aghanim's coming out next, or BKB if she wants so. Getting a DD rune as well. Condolences for dying. Well... Vici Gaming, we've seen them in this position a couple of times today, Waga. They will spread the map. They will farm. The losing position, is that what you're... In a certain <laughs> sense, I'm circling around to that, it, yes. It's been a hard day for Maybe Vici. they look this way and they try to approach it oh. in a different light, but, oh, ZYF could be close to trouble here. Happens to walk up and over a sentry, gets pinged out, and how goes on the move under a shadow blade, but will not be able to make chase. Running on... Clinks trying to get away. Got to be safe. And uh, at the same time, right now, Vici Gaming are splitting the map a little bit more. And Newbie, they want to get to the enemy base as soon as possible, but they can't really do it right now. They have to deal with the top lane for sure. And uh, X could even add more pressure to this right now if you wanted to. Slowly, though, position themselves for the bottom lane, I guess. Yeah, it's coming. You know, it's. And what do you think about. The commitment for them, I'm going for this Wisp. I mean, it's not like we've seen any relocate offensive plays. I'm not even seeing too many defensive relocate plays. Um, uh, who do you tether to to even buff up in this game, if anybody? I just feel they lost the laning stage too hard. And Newbie have such a good laning stage draft. Uh, it's hard to make a play as a Wisp. Yeah. Oh, no. The Shadow Blade. DDC is dead. Ouch. Gets hit once, twice, three. And He's even giving it away to his teammates. He's going to give it to Moo. What a friend. What oh. a guy. It's like, here, dude. Yeah. You get this. Mikasa just has to sit and watch from the trees. Like, 
DDC. Oh, they're going though. Okay, they're making their move. There's a jump from Mikasa, gets the backliner How looking to go right for the Drow. Can Vici Gaming reborn, make their swarm and get the job done. They will be able to dunk her down. Moo, how dare you do that to my friend? Moves in, tries to get redemption, is able to clean up one, and Chuan steps That's in as well and gets another. They need to get one him. to the next, they get them all in the end. It doesn't matter for VG Gaming Reborn. They try all their right. best to spring the trap, but newbie get the job done. I was very surprised that VG Ga uh, Gaming just went there, uh, and it was not a good choice in the end either. I don't think that was an opening. I mean, we've seen them in this kind of position where they try to stall things out and defend it from the high ground make the yellow smoke plays this time they just went for it i guess they realized they they have to do something you have to be active if you want to win against the draw lineup but yeah. um newbie are so good at being in good defensive positions when someone goes on one of them the rest will be there to punish very quickly so sadly just giving away more rich get richer once more puddle guy the newbie march continues on here towards the mid lane while moo covers the top Bottom's already doing okay on its own here, but uh, there's some racks that I'm sure would like to go down here if you're a big newbie fan. So we'll see if they're going to be able to make their approach and what VG Gaming can offer I think in any sort of high ground defense. I think if you're a newbie, though, you should play it slow right now and just take Roche. I don't think they want to break high ground against this team that could easily catch you out. Mm, they can definitely try and go on no-no top, but just walking up the ramp is... Pretty game losing for them right now. You want to do it with an Aegis. It's so close as well. Until the Roche is going to be back. No, no steps away. Remnants and TPs himself back into the bottom lane. To continue farming and relieving a little bit of pressure down there. It looks like he's getting closer to a Battle Fury. You know, it's a step in the right direction, but still quite the build up for your Ember Spirit before you hit that high road of sweeping out creep waves with a rapier and such to be yeah. able to kind of. Take it home in the late game. Every game we see Ember, I feel like he struggles a lot just because it takes so long until he gets online. And nobody really wants to do these experimental builds that people were doing for a while. The tanky Ember builds with, uh, I mean, even a Vanguard, a Vladimir's armlets. People were doing some crazy builds. Um, and I actually think those builds would have worked better than what people are doing now. It's too slow. You're just giving up all the map control in the early game. Your most farm here is Ember. doesn't really matter. Oh, boy. Ooh, ZYF spotted in crossing here, and he is not going to be able to make it away with it. How dare you walk past us? And he's really struggling to get his uh, Desolator online. He's been trying over and over, but four deaths to his name. Getting slowed down so much by Newbie. And KP has been doing a good job this game. 1-0 and 7 on the Slard arc. Got to go for one more. Yep, he's not been an get absolute stud setting Ooh. up these ganks and making these approaches his... You know, top lane presence and being patient and, and being able to get those early knockdowns of the clinks. Uh, a testament to where newbie have been able to get into this position now. Oh, well, that who commits, but that's not going to kill an axe. Yeah, that was ambitious, but I guess... Uh, yeah, that was a big whiff because he was a few hundred HP off. Even with the Orchid damage in the fountain, it's not going to kill him. Yeah, Moo's got that NA math going, so <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> math. Once again, damn you, math. <laughs> math. Well... No, no. Cleaning out the front steps here. And hopes that maybe uh, Newbie will slow their roll a bit. As mentioned, waiting out for the Roche to kind of make a more secure done. With the Silver's Edge, he could lead with it. Yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, man. Four hits. Ouch. Four hits to kill an Ember. All right. It's not bad. Turns Ember into a debunked lifeless body there in the mid lane. Out for 40 seconds, no buyback to his name. And Roshan is up and saying hello. Newbie going for it immediately. Yes, they will get this and, and they will uh, try to force Vici into submission. And they also have the entire Aghanims now in Queen, so they can be a little bit more generous with ulti. Uh, even though he's been pretty generous so far as well. Yeah. He's been throwing out like they're hugs. Yep. Radiance this is Roche going down. Age is going to be picked up now along with that Aghanims as mentioned. And Newbie now in the final stretch of what they expect to be the outcome of this game. I mean, VG have to play perfect from here to yep. make this game turn around. They have to just get one really clean initiation with the axe. Too bad he doesn't have the blade mail just yet. Too so bad good. he's been spotted. And out. he's dead. Mu moves in, sets it up with the Orchid. The creep though. <laughs> uh, gets the call off and this time doesn't bother. 
with the Sonic Wave as it's stalling cooldown, actually. But nonetheless, they're going to get the kill. Mikasa's out. 40 seconds. They won't have that axe call. Now Now what's the dream? <laughs> uh, what is the dream setup? Without an axe? The dream tether. Slowing everyone. Yeah. KP just doesn't even hesitate. Goes right into the back lines. They spot out No-No, and it's going to force a quick evacuation there from the Wisp. Just blink and you miss it. Drow had been going to work on the racks. Takes out both of them, too, in all the meanwhile. Newbie hit, and they hit fast and hard. Yeah, they could even fake back here if they wanted to. The Silver Sedge could re-engage, but they're just going to go for bottom, maybe. Could even back off if they wanted to, really, but nah. Eagle Song coming up. That's I think no they fun. can keep going with Aegis. Don't need to back off. They are spotted by a ward. ZYF takes a very deep approach, keeping his clinks what he feels like will be behind Newbie lines. Yeah, there's a gem, of course, on KP, so have to be very careful on the clinks right now. Yeah. So hard to evade that. And uh, we'll have to see if they end up crossing past with ZYF or if he's just going to patiently wait here in the corner. Yeah, he's trying to hide the best he can. He's actually pretty close to the Desolator. Just needs a little bit more money, but there's nowhere to farm for a little clinks these days. Here comes Newbie. They've gotten the wards down. And they are going to be confidently beginning their move here. ZYF getting further away. Oh, there's also a, an Orchid going out. Move. Oh! This time the math worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. And that is going to be a Fivers 4 possible final defense here for Vici Gaming Reborn. Here comes Newbie looking to walk away with two points unless oh, Vici no. Gaming Reborn walks right into a dust, right into a gust rather, and potentially right into his own death. Mikasa will be there to help him out with the leading call, but eventually they will grab that Ruby, take him down. He's going to be forced to buy back, and Newbie just not even being stopped. The bulldozers ramming so in. Damage. It's like Vici Gaming Reborn just throwing themselves into her cannon, and they can't do anything to stop it. Newbie just too big, too bad, too strong. They get game number two and two points. Yeah, that's like very clean 2-0 against Vici Gaming. Yes, first game was a really long game and a lot of a struggle, but game two, they made it look easy. Newbie just show, man, they got that flexibility. They could take games long. Are you they feeling happy now short. having them as your uh, number one prediction? Yeah, so far they're looking like a number one kind of a team, but it is VG Gaming Re